Friends and comrades, we are gathered here today to mark the fourth anniversary of the death of our dear friend and comrade, Ugluk Seamus McKenna, who died tragically one short year ago. As you all know, this place is as good as any to commemorate Seamus. For down through the years, Seamus stood shoulder to shoulder here with us in commemorating Ireland's Fallen. Seamus was a lifelong Republican, born into a strong Republican family in the heart of South Armagh. His father, Sean Senior, was interned in the 1970s and became one of the hooded men. His younger brother, Sean Junior, was to spend over 50 days on hunger strike in the H blocks of Long Kesh in 1980. Like his father and brother, Seamus was not to be found wanting when it came to the struggle. Even after three terms of imprisonment, he remained, up until his death, committed to his Republican principles. Seamus, your memory will live on with us forever and a day. May you rest in peace. We will now lay a read on behalf of the Republican Network for Unity and the Republican Movement, followed by a lament. Friends and comrades, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome home a recently released POW. Anthony Hayland from Dublin was released along with five other POWs from Port Leash Jail last week. We here today and the remaining prisoners on E2 landing in Port Leash Jail wish Anthony all the very best for the future. I wish to thank each and every one of you for coming here today to honour Ugluk Seamus McKenna. Some have travelled long distances and your attendance is most welcome. We will now draw this commemoration to a close with the playing of our national anthem.